Hello and welcome back to Deus Machina Demon Bane. So, what brings you here today? Oh, it's just I thought I'd give you the information on Demon Bane's pilot, on Al Aziz's new master. The two are shocked once again, but a smile never leaves Master Therian's face. Oh, so once again it's your doing, as I thought. <laughs> there you go, the data for this round's opponent. Naya approaches Master Therian and hands over several documents. Brushing back his hair, Master Therian looks through them. Private investigator. He's not a mage from the Misotonic. Well, <laughs> has he piqued your interest? Naya's playful embraces, playfully embraces Master Therian from the side, and her enormous breasts press up against his head. Such insolence towards the Grand Master, feared by all members of the Black Lodge. But the young man himself seems to pay it no mind merely looks up at Naya with his usual bored expression. Tell me the truth. How does it look this time? Well, it's true that he has less ability as a mage than the previous ones. But you know, Grandmaster, that sort of thing has no bearing on whether one is fit to become a star in Fate's drama. Don't you agree? Hmm. You seem rather taken with the other side this time, I see. Master Therian sits, sets down the documents and stands. Naya pouts, displeased at having been pushed aside. Ignoring that, he addresses Augustus. Augustus, take care of things here. Huh? Oh my! The Grand Master himself is taking to the field! Naya laughs gleefully. Master Therian's face is twisted in delight as well. It's probably the happiest expression Augustus and Sandalthorn have ever seen on the Grand Master's face. This is our first time together. <laughs> I should greet him, should I not? And besides, even I desire amusement on occasion. Well, that's ominous as all hell. Hey! What? Stop following me! It wouldn't do for a grimoire to separate from her mage. Look, no matter how hard you try, there is no way I am ever becoming your master. I won't give up. I'm more stubborn than the hounds of Tyndall's. Tid oh, never mind. Look, I don't want to know. Al Azif stubbornly continues to dog my steps. Looks like it's going to be a battle of endurance. I keep ignoring her. Maybe she'll give up eventually. I keep walking in silence. My client is pissed. And I don't want to think about what the Hadou princess will do to me if I don't find her another grimoire soon. For now. That antique bookstore, I'll try there again. Back then, the owner had said that she had no grimoire suitable for me, but a bookstore that was well stocked might have some leads. If I remember correctly, it was just around this corner. Huh? There's nothing here. It's just a small empty lot. Pretty sure it was around here. What are you looking for? None of your business. Oh, don't be so cold. But no matter how hard I search the area, I can't find the bookstore. Am I in the wrong place? No, even if I am third rate, I'm still a PI. I have some confidence in my memory and sense of direction. <sighs> Damn. I thought I'd be able to get some leads there. What? You're still looking for a grimoire? How long do you tend to go along with that girl's selfishness? It's my job, damn it! Stop these meaningless actions, Kiru. While you waste time on foolish pursuits, matters are progressing steadily. I don't care. All that concerns me is where my next meal's coming from. So stop obsessing over me. Go find yourself a true hero of justice. Someone filled with a sense of duty and love for humanity. You're doing us both a favor. It's not like such convenient people are just lying around. A human with magic talent who isn't who doesn't have a grimoire? who's untainted by evil? You're pretty much it. How do you know I haven't been tainted by evil? My head's filled with evil. Right now I'm carrying out an evil plan to hijack a kid and guard a bus and use it to lure the heroes to an abandoned quarry in my head. Evil plans aside, I believe that you are a stronger human than you think. It may be that an average person like you is better capable of using magic properly. I be so sure. Look, anyway, I have a hard enough time just doing my job. Find someone else. I said that I am not giving up! <laughs> Whatever. Look, I'm 
make you understand you're just wasting your time. I hit all the strange back alley shops I can find. Antique bookstores, magic stores, occult goods shops and fortune tellers. And I also go through all the street vendors. <laughs> Dealing with shady guys like these is just another part of my job. Look here. This is the Book of Demonic Prayers, written by Shrieker the Apostate. This must be the Book of M that was given to the legendary CRC. You'll have a good eye, sir. Oh, I couldn't possibly sell this. But if you insist, I could consider parting with it for such a price. Uh, <laughs> yes, what a deal. Here's a price just for you. <sighs> if you give them an opening, they'll try and cheat you into buying their bootlegs. While slipping by them, I keep looking for a grimoire. However, just like I thought, no, I need you to find one. <laughs> Alright. A rough night. Just like I thought, it's not that easy to find one. I won't make any headway at this rate. Maybe I should try a different tactic. Oh! Oh! Looking behind me, I see that Al-Azif is still there. But now she's looking at the street vendors, her eyes gleaming with curiosity. The human world is as interesting as ever. I look away for a few decades and it changes this much. Looking at her now, she almost seems like the innocent girl her appearance would suggest. Whether or not she fits in with the scenery is quite a different matter. Perhaps feeling my gaze, Alazif looks up at me and smiles. Well, Master, have you accepted it? Hell no. I turn away harshly and keep walking. Not good, not good. If I pay attention to her, I'll get drawn into her pace. I have to make sure to completely ignore her. Yeah, just need to pretend that no one's there. Don't think about her. She seems to have settled down. Alright, looking good. Now I just need her to give up. Chomp, chomp, choo choo! Mmm! Mmm! Mmm, this flavour is quite good. Wait, what the hell are you eating? Hmm? When I look back this time, her cheeks are bulging with food from the nearby stands. Hmm. Hmm. What? You want some? Not th Where the hell did you get that mountain of food? Oh, these? As I walk past their stalls, the keepers keep calling me cute and donating them to me. <laughs> Although it's only to be expected, my beauty is truly sinful. No, I'm pretty sure you're making a big mistake. Oi, miss! Oh shit. I knew it. There are a group of tough-looking guys standing behind Al, with their arms crossed, veins bulging on their foreheads. Eating without paying makes things hard for us. You there. You have to take better care of your little sister. No, we're not siblings. Oh, God, hell, I wouldn't want a sibling like this. What has them so angry? Y y you know what money is, right? You know, money. Insolence. Do you think me an outdated and ignorant grimoire? The concept of currency existed long before I was created. Then pay, damn it! That's how you buy things! I said they were given to me. Don't you see how pissed off these guys are? It seems that they were harbouring unclean intentions towards my lovely self. Too bad for them. I, al am not one to be tricked by food. I think you're just going to keep going through life, twisting everything to suit you. These guys are starting to get seriously mad. They're cracking their knuckles and stuff with frightening expressions on their faces. Oh well, looks like we'll have to teach this girl about how the world works. You better get ready too, brother. I am not her brother, we are not related. Hair, skin, eyes, we don't have anything in common, goddammit. No excuses. Huh, <laughs> stop your barking, lowlifes. Guys, <laughs> what? The guys close in for a beating, but instead a flash strikes them. A merciless blow of magic energy bursts, blasting away. The men are knocked out cold. Oh, now she's done it. There's no need to use my magus's power. I can handle like rabble like you myself. You shall regret to find the ultimate grimoire a la Zif. Hey, 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 stop it already. D don't underestimate us, you little shit. Ah! Yeah! It's a disaster. Stray shockwaves of pulverizing buildings, blowing up stalls, people are running around screaming. Oh god, it's like a glimpse of hell. Help! Help me! Oh. 
She's evil. She's pure evil. Where the hell does she get off talking about Black Lodge? Huh? Sorry. Oh god, they're getting closer. Wait, does that mean... No, no, it most definitely does. Whoa. What the hell is this? This... This is the police. You there, berserk girl. Stop your resistance and come along quietly. If you don't... The cops are here. Oh, this is bad. Things just keep going from bad to worse. Oh shit, what am I gonna do? Reinforcements! Get the gun! Nah! Go! Oh, the armored police car. Th the armored police car flew effortlessly up into the air, and it falls to the ground from a ridiculous angle and bursts into flames. And the inspectors crawl hastily out of the blazing car. Uh, 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 uh. Oh god, now there's no way they'll listen to anything I try to say. Oh, what now? Uh, well, for starters, you, you're under arrest. Oh, we're gonna have to make a run for it. Hey! Oh god, grab her and run. I roughly scoop Alazif up into my arms. What, what are you doing? Didn't you hear me? We're running, dumbass. Hey, wait, you're touching my breasts. What are you saying, Kiru? No matter how many of these pawns show up... Ah! Just stop squirming around. Funny... Yeah, hey! I was flailing fists and elbows hurt when they hit, but I don't have time to worry about that. Leaving the burning town and armoured car behind us, I run like hell. H halt! You won't get away. This is Stone. Encountered two terrorists, one male and one female, in Sector 18, requesting backup. St Stone... First... Call an ambulance. Ugh. Oh god, now I'm being called a terrorist. Oh shit, they're fast, they're already here. <laughs> Trying to avoid the approaching sirens, I flee through the streets too narrow for cars. Hey, let me down. It won't take but a second to deal with. Huh? Just shut up already. I, you touch me again. That touch was obviously dirty. Taking advantage of the situation. Yeah. Now wait a second. Now that I think about it, why the hell am I carrying it with me? I pondered that as Al Azif continued to punch the hell out of me. God, there was no reason to bring her with me. Oh shit, why do I keep making my life more difficult? Because it's the right thing to do? Now, listen to me, dammit! Either way, the only option now is to run. God, since yesterday all I've been doing is running. I noticed that the sun is now quite low in the west. I'm tired. Just plain tired. Absurdly tired. Do I have anything to show for my exhaustion? Yeah, I don't even need to ask. It was a complete waste of time. That's why I keep telling you to stop these meaningless actions. You've got no right to talk, source of all evil. Which reminds me, most of my efforts were spent on completely unrelated activities. In any case, the sun's almost set. I suppose I better call it a day. Which means that my next problem is... What do I do for food? I end up deciding to mooch. Sister! Food! Yay, he's acting like it's only natural for me to, for him to get fed here. Oh, my Kiru, who is this lovely girl? Lisa stares at Al Azif, her eyes sparkling with intense curiosity. Yeah, this... Yeah, it's kind of... <sighs> now, how could I explain this? If I say the wrong thing here, things will turn ugly. But before I can worry about that, Halazif answers without hesitation. I am Q's property. The air freezes solid. The always calm and composed Lisa is shaking while her face is turning red. Oh crap, she's completely misunderstanding things. I... Kiru, you couldn't have. Hold it, no, whatever you're imagining, it's wrong. Hey, Grimoire, don't make such a loaded... Yeah, master. Mm -hmm. You're doing it on purpose. As expected, Lisa backs away from me. Far, far away, as fast as she can. And then backing up, she trips and falls, but unable to get back up, still frantically withdraws until she has her back against the wall. Her scared, tearful eyes look at me frighteningly. Well, that's a reasonable point to end this part, so I will say thank you, much for, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next.